What's up everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Hafo and today I am literally doing a tutorial on what I showed you in um, the preview which was the muffled audio and the explosion sound on the last bullet. So what we're going to want to do is literally we're going to want to import a song and then we're going to find on the audio layer where we want to muffle it so you can just drag along it, find where it starts. I've already pre um, synced this clip so and this looks good like between shots this muffled bit as you saw at the beginning so basically you're going to want to find where you want to start muffling it and then press S to split the layer and you just want to split out the bit that you want to muffle so as I am doing here this isn't live by the way guys I'm watching it on the screen because uh, I still haven't figured out the mic on my brother's computer so you're going to want to click S to split it as you can see I've done there and then you're going to want to right click on that little split part and then click apply non real time event effects then it's going to bring up this list of all different effects you're going to want to click on all which opens this file and then you just click amplitude modulation and then add and then ok then it's going to come up with all these different um, all these different effects you're just going to want to turn the wet out to 24 decibels you're going to want to tick the blend graph edges you're going to want to turn up the mod frequency to 5000 uh, you're going to want to turn up the stereo part to 100 and you're going to want to tick load pass start frequency and leave it as it is at 400 so you might want to pause it and copy them down but then you click OK and then save it to wherever you want I just call mine tutorial so once it's saved that is literally the muffled bit done uh, then for the explosion part I've got a download link in the description to the dull explosion I've already put it in another video but I'm gonna do it again for you guys because I've had it requested quite a lot and then what you're gonna want to do is literally drag that in to your timeline on a different audio layer and you're gonna want to go and turn up that layer to 12 decibels in volume that's because uh, you want the explosion to be obviously be loud and overpower the music and uh, yeah, that is it, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Easter. Um, and if you found this tutorial useful, could you please give it a like? Helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, I've nearly hit 500 subs, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you later.